Breaking news now, the arrest of a suspect in the murder of Bishop David O'Connell, who was found shot to death at his home in Hacienda Heights. O'Connell served as a bishop in the Los Angeles Archdiocese for nearly a decade. We have team coverage from Sid Garcia and Carlos Granda. We begin with Carlos live in downtown LA with what we have learned about the suspect. Carlos? Well, the L.A. County Sheriff confirmed a short while ago the arrest of 65-year-old Carlos Medina. Investigators believe that he murdered Auxiliary Bishop David O'Connell. Now, the motive could be a dispute and money that apparently the murderer, the alleged murderer, believed was owed to him. But the sheriff, when asked about this, says he's not even sure there could have been any kind of dispute at all. That's something that they're now investigating. A tipster led to the suspect. Archbishop Gomez almost in tears as he spoke of the loss of Bishop David O'Connell. He was a good priest and a good bishop and a man of peace. Deputies arrested the suspect, 65-year-old Carlos Medina, at his home near Torrance. It all started late last night when they first went to the house on Kenwood Avenue. Carson Sheriff Station deputies, along with our major crime bureau detectives, contained the location and conducted callouts for Medina to surrender but he refused. It was 3 a.m. when tactical officers surrounded the apartment, cutting a hole in a back fence to evacuate residents. It became a standoff that lasted until about 8 a.m. when the suspect finally came out. They took a chance that they were gonna take him out no matter what, either make a hole through the roof or make a hole through the fence. Officials say Medina's wife was the bishop's housekeeper and Medina had also done work at that house. Detectives were told by the tipster that they were concerned because Medina was acting strange, irrational, and made comments about the bishop owing him money. Bishop O'Connell was found in the room of the home with a gunshot wound to the upper torso. Detectives recovered two firearms and other evidence possibly linking Medina to the crime. Residents who have known the suspect for several years since he moved into this apartment complex are stunned at all of this. The last couple of days just been odd. Yeah. That's all I can say, but no, he, he was a good man. But yeah, the last couple of days, we haven't seen him as much as we used to do, yeah. Now, there was no sign of forced entry into the apartment, so detectives are trying to figure out how he got into the house. Sheriff's investigators say they are speaking with the suspect's wife, and she is cooperating. Reporting live from downtown Los Angeles, I'm Carlos Granda, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.